When does a thought become an action? This is the story of what motivates me to reach past the everyday and achieve something extraordinary. My name is Dayron Booth, and this is my Fitspiration. Growing up in Brooklyn in the 80s and 90s, it was a really rough place. You know, I saw a lot of drug dealing, shoot and crime, people getting killed. Actually, one of my closest friends got killed, and it was very devastating to me. That was motivation and a wake-up call that I needed to stay away from the street life and be successful in life. You Knowing what my friend went through, it made me want to succeed. He had a lot of dreams, he had a lot of aspirations, he wanted to be a pro athlete. And him not being able to achieve those things, him having his life cut short so he couldn't see those things. He didn't have an opportunity to live that life. I want to try to live it for him and be successful for him. I would like to live for him, for me, for my family as well. That's the biggest drive in my life, my family. From the time I was a kid, I always wanted to be in the fitness. I used to play football, basketball, track and field, baseball, and then at the age around maybe 16 or 17, I started to get into boxing. I used to watch a lot of Mike Tyson, Sugar Ray Leonard, Muhammad Ali with my grandfather, and it really made an impact on me. Watching boxing with my grandfather was a lot of fun. He, he's a real excitable guy. He, always, he would always scream at the TV, and it got my emotions involved, and I was always pulling for a particular guy. He would pull against me just so he could bick a little bit about it. I always wanted to be in the best shape I could be in. I used to uh, do a lot of calisthenics, push-ups, and things like that. But I really got into it once I started reading Arnold Schwarzenegger magazines. Just the way he prepared and got bulky and the things he did to get bulky, I wanted to do that as well. So I used to do a lot of weightlifting as well. To keep people motivated, I like to remind them of that one thing that they came in for. When they lose sight of that, I remind them of that one thing and they find that drive to get through it and succeed. I never want to go back, I always want to move forward. That's my constant goal, that's my constant quest. Let me tell you a story. Me and my brother used to play NFL streets and we would have a little tournament. We played one time three out of five and he beat me three out of five times and on the fifth one he beat me so bad it made me rip the control out of the console and throw it in the middle of the street and break it. That's how passionate I am about winning. I hate to lose, I'm such a sore loser. And whenever I lose, it invokes something in me to want to train harder, to, to, to be better, to not feel that feeling of losing again. I hate to lose, especially the negativity. I always try to keep a positive outlook on life. If something negative happens or if it's something that I want and I don't have it at the particular time, I train hard and do whatever it takes to get that thing. You have to think about your end goal. You have to think about why you started. You know, there's always something that, that you want to achieve and you have to keep pushing forward until you get it. So however long that takes, you just keep working hard until you do. I always want to be healthy and take good care of myself because one day I want to be able to see my kids grow. I want to see my grandkids grow. I want to be around for that so I could be a grandfather and, and be with my family. I always try to still in my clients that the worst thing you can do is stop. If you feel like you know you can't make it, just keep focus on that goal, keep driving and you'll get past that point. The worst thing you could do is stop. Sometimes people come into the gym and they're really afraid of what's gonna happen, like they're afraid they're gonna fail. You know, they have a certain goal they wanna achieve and they're thinking always in their mind, what if I can't get it? But if you remind them why you came into the gym in the first place, you'll understand that you, know, you just keep working hard for it and you'll achieve that goal if you just stay focused on that. Don't let the negativity get into your mind. 
No matter what happens, you focus on that goal. You may fall down, things may get tough, but if you stay focused on that goal, you'll reach that point. You have to change the way you think so you can get there. I want to be able to do whatever it takes for my family. I don't want them to need or want for anything. If they want something, I want to be able to provide for them as the man of the family. I never want them to struggle, go through the hardships that I went through. Fear is a wall. Success is just on the other side of it. If you could climb that wall or just break that wall down, get on the other side of it, you succeed. We all have our own walls in life. We all have our own obstacles. And it's only a dead end if you allow it to be. You can fight through that dead end by keep working hard and keep focused on the goal at hand. You work through that and you'll succeed. It's all about being mentally tough and focus on the goal. You have to decide to be mentally tough and you will be.